So yesterday, November 23rd, 2024, I went down and got a Traxxas Max Slash. Um, it was on sale for $549 from, I think, $699. I thought, you know, pick it up. I like it. It looks nice. Of course, the videos and stuff on YouTube um, make it to be this wild beast. A um, couple notes on here. And a lot of it's just my opinion. And I, get, I feel like people got to share their feelings and opinions about this stuff. Because if I could find more videos of this on YouTube um, and see this kind of stuff that I don't like, I wouldn't have wasted my money and, and bought it, you know. And I don't make a whole ton of money. So it's just one of those things that I would have bought, you know, a Big Rock fire team or a, a, a Arma Big Rock, kind of like the fire team. I like the scale. It's a, it's a nice rig. Looks good. The body breaks all the time. But I would have bought that. It was the same sale. It was on sale for $549. A couple of the things on here. If you take these, I'm going to call them lift kits. I don't know the correct name. Shock mounts, whatever. But I'm going to call them a lift kit. If you take those off and put your shock in there where it would go like on a Max or even an X-Max, um, this sags all the way down to the ground. So the front clips everything every single thing you got plenty of room in there um if you you know just ripping around but if you hit the slightest little thing this right here it, it would hit that if you know i was coming off of a rebound and coming up it, it would totally hit that and just trip this poor thing i got these collars cinched all the way down for it but the front doesn't come with them so i was actually going to take the rear ones and put them on the front just to kind of lift this thing and hold it up a little bit higher what sucks about this is no engineering at all went into this. And I'm trying to keep this short because I'm doing it from a phone. It's probably crappy quality, whatever. But I was really, really disappointed in that. The cost of this, not on sale, is 700 freaking dollars. And they can't even put the rest of that lift kit up front here just to kind of help out with the suspension. Like, it barely even rebounds back up. And it's got plenty of travel. Lots of travel. But it just freaking sucks. Now, I ordered the part on Amazon. It was like 12 bucks for some aluminum ones. The rig is a lot of fun. It handles great. No sway bars. But it doesn't get traction roll. This thing is awesome in the way of handling. Very happy with it. The body, uh, I don't know where, right there. I got the rock and roll theme body. Um, just uh, the snap-in system. No pins or anything. That's nice, of course. But another thing I noticed was I'm on stock gearing, which is a 50 tooth spur and 25 tooth pinion. And this thing's a little rocket. I don't know how fast it goes, but the motor today, and I live in Arizona, the motor today got to 144 degrees on not even a full 6S pack. I was not impressed with that at all. Um, I have a 2200 right here. I have a 2200 KV motor and it handled better than this thing did yesterday mind you our high here today i think was like 61 degrees it's not hot um i'm running full throttle and just shouldn't have been 144 degrees not justified you know at that at that so i have a gen 2 um 2250 kv motor i may if i end up keeping this not trading or selling it um i may throw that in here with a gen 2 esc i'll have to pick up one uh an esc but yeah i'm just i'm not happy with it handling is great outside of that it's it's nothing more than an, than a little max with you know different bumpers different body mount system and of course shorter suspension in the way of uh toe links and control arms it's you know identical literally um one might say oh no it's different you know it's got that little block under the motor we're we're talking you know non-technical stuff it's relatively a freaking a max a max 4s um battery compartment you know it is what it is that's traxxas freaking controlling crap buy our batteries or we're not going to make it convenient for you i'm able to fit one of my six cell packs in here so it's kind of nice but servo on here not fast by any means but stupid strong so i'm gonna make that at the end of the video not happy with it i wish um i hadn't bought it 
Um, between the motor and the suspension on here, this thing absolutely sucks. Handling on here is great. The tires, I love them. I got a stretched, uh, I got my stretched Typhon over here. I, I, man, I wish I could get those tires to fit on here without having to mod them out. This is my baby right here. But, uh, man, the tires are just, they're bullets, just little crushers. Anything that's in their way, they hold up to it. So, this is the end of my video. If, uh, if you're considering buying one, take those things into consideration. Um, you know, I live in the desert here in Arizona, a lot of fine dirt and whatnot. Um, you know, during summertime, I wouldn't even be able to run this if it gets to 144 degrees. One might say, well, all you got to do is put a fan on it. Well, maybe put a fan on there if I geared it up. But, I mean, I don't even have... I don't even have a fan on my stretched Typhon. I don't run a fan on here at all, and I have it geared pretty high. It's a, uh, I'm running 4623 on there. And uh, man, I don't even run a fan on that motor. And I'm running a stock fan on my Gen 2 ESC. I've never replaced that fan, but nonetheless, definitely not happy with it. I regret buying it because, you know, I could have put that money towards bills or towards the kids for Christmas or, you know, food on the table, whatever, had the extra money and I thought, you know, I'm going to get something for a pre Black Friday sale. And this was it was not happy with it at all. And I'm not happy still with it at all. Something as simple as putting those shock mounts up front there. Just, that's just silly. The back is fine. The rebound is fine. It's, it's kind of stiff, but the front nice and smooth, but just takes so little to bottom out.